Amadal Kumar, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting brilliant questions. Here are a few questions from our grade 11 students who are working hard to succeed in the math contest conducted by University of Waterloo. So we are actually looking into solutions of some of the past papers questions and I hope all of you will find them interesting and useful. Sorry for the bad print here, the printer is running out of ink and this exam is uh, rather the contest is tomorrow. So I thought let me first uh, make some videos for the students. Okay, the question here is Sylvia chose positive integers A, B and C. So A, B, C are natural numbers. So let's, let me write down as we read. So they belong to set of natural numbers. Peter determined that the value of A plus B over C and got an answer of 101. So A plus B over C is given to you as equal to 101. Paul determined A over C plus B. A over C plus B is 68 is 68. That is what they figure out. And Mary determined the value of A plus B over C and got the answer K. So we have A plus B over C equals to K. The value of K is what? That is what you need to figure out. Five options are given to us. You need to find what is the correct option. So solve the question and then let's see who gets it first, right? Okay. I really love these types of questions which are based on numbers. And now let's see what kind of strategy we can adopt to solve this. So I hope the question is clear to you. We are given three sums. Two of them are known. Third we need to find. Okay. So let's see how to work on such questions. We have A plus B over C equals to 101 and we have A over C plus B as 68. So I will just add them. So if I add them, what do I get? We get A plus B, right? And we also get these, right? So where C is common and we have A plus B equals to add them 9169 so very beautiful number 169 which is 13 square right okay so we get something like this now how can we from here get the answer if you look at these numbers 13 168 152 12 and 169 you could actually guess your answer at this stage it's a multiple choice question correct now what I will do to make it obvious is that I will factor out A plus B. So let me uh, factor out A plus B, right? So if I factor out A plus B, think like this. So we have got these terms here, right? So we have A plus B plus A plus B over C equals to 169. So we are factoring A plus B. So we get 1 plus 1 over C. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, 1 plus 1 over C equals to 169. Clear? We just factored this out. Okay. So now we are interested in finding what this number is, which is A plus B over C. So from here, that C we could also take out. So let me go two steps here. Uh, we'll take C as a common factor. So we get C plus 1 equals to 169 or A plus B over C. And here we have C plus 1. And that is 169. Is that clear to you? So we have got equation in the form of factors and we know this is the product is 169. Now 169 is a very beautiful number which has only factors of what? One of the factors 1, 13 times 13 and 169. So it has only three factors, right? So when you multiply these are the only three options. Well, one is not given to you, 13 and 169. Both are given to us, right? Both are given to us. One of them is the correct option, right? And we know C cannot be zero. It has to be greater than zero, right? So, uh, now, now this number 169, A plus B over C could be either 13 or 169, correct? If I place this as 169, then 
then c plus 1 should be 1, correct? But that is not possible since c cannot be 0. So only possible solution is a plus b over c should be equal to 13, correct? In that case, we get c plus 1 also as 13, correct? So it makes sense. It becomes 169. What we really want to find is a plus b over c, which is this. So we get our answer, and the answer is 13, right? Option A. Option A. Is that clear to you, right? So this really helps. So prime factors, factorization, products, multiples, these are the common things which will help you solve some of the questions in the contest test paper. So always look for uh, such factors and how we can multiply and get our answer. That should be the strategy for solving such a question. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.